These are power positions of Wing Chun. Okay, so all these positions of power include both simultaneous attack and defense, they include footwork or stepping, and they also include structure. Structure is the connections within our body that, that form solidity in order to hold a position. The first one is the Tan Da. A Tan Da, a Tan Sao is here. A, and a Da is to, is to strike. You could strike with a palm strike or a punch, either, either one. We can also include footwork with that. So what we're doing here is we're simultaneously defending and attacking. This is often done when someone goes and tries to grab us in a certain spot. If someone's grabbing us on our arm, a, a powerful position is to drop our elbow and punch them on the other side. They put pressure here, boom. Very, very powerful, posi powerful position. The Bill Da. I don't teach a ton on a strike that comes around like this. Because what happens, it, this, the ton would have to then go and chase that, that uh, punch that's coming around. So instead of that, what I teach is this action here. It's a rounded action, kind of a, a kind of a bill sow, um, but it's also the elbow is out a little bit, kind of similar to a bong sow. So what? So instead of the ton, you go ahead and put your arm up like this. My shoulder is forward, my elbow is out, and I'm going to simultaneously strike and do this bill. You do it on the other side, All right? Same footwork we used on the tanda, a pivot. Make sure both of your feet are parallel as we pivot. For the most part, when you pivot to a side, that foot that you pivot into points to where you're headed. So here is a pak da, okay? What I want you to do is you're here and you're gonna pak and punch simultaneously. You come in and pop. Watch my feet as I do this. Time your feet and your hands together in all these things. If you've got your feet at a wrong timing than your hands, it's not gonna work for you. So watch my timing again. Okay. So this is a pop da. What it does is it clears the way of an arm that's there, it clears as you simultaneously attack, strike, uh, uh, either punch or palm. Another one that we have is a scissors gong sao or gong sao. That combines a lower hand and an upper hand. We have different versions of this lower hand. I'm gonna teach you this one. Here is generally a defensive action and here's your offensive action. Boom, boom, boom. One hand up, one hand down. The hand that's striking is the higher hand. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be a punch. It can be, like I said, it can be here. It can even deflect, deflect with both or even attack with both. But for simplicity purposes, let's make this the shield and this the sword or this is the defense and this is the offense. Scissors. Scissors does a really good job splitting away their energy as you enter into the, into their center. So this is yet another uh, movement, a position of power that, that you can use. This next one is a uh, lap da. Now a lap da, lap means to grab. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna come here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab and you're gonna lower. So as you do that, you're gonna punch. So you're here to begin with, you lower and punch, okay? And you enter in. The footwork that I'm using is called a Vilma or advancing stance. See it from back here?
Okay, so these are several of the positions of power that we use in Wing Chun. You practice these, you get good at these, and you're gonna be able to combine your hands and feet with your structure, with your, with your uh, positions. As you see, I'm upright. This is all important stuff as we go through. Um, that's gonna help you to have positions of power.